right, ready? Here we go. Good evening, everybody. This is Bob Vilsoy and Kara Lentz with Sports Broadcast Solutions. I've got the call tonight between Fox United from Indiana and, of course, Chicago Nation Soccer. And we have Kara Lentz on videography. We also have a headphone on her, so we're going to have a fun conversation during the game. Glad you are all here today. We've got the starting lineups right away. For Chicago Nation, number seven in the front line is Nick Capitanos. Red Strain in the front, Reed Strain in the front line, number ten. Lucas Selka, number eight in the front line, midfield. We got Will Butler, number two. Jasminko Dizdarevic, number four, and Nick Kalabjan, number six. In the back line, Isaac Sutton, number three, Sergey Warzimiak, number five, Matt Budrick, number sixteen, who is our pre-game uh, guest. And then Miguel Fierro, number one, and in goal, Austin Salazar, number 25. We have the roster here for Fox United, but we don't have the starting lineup, so we have to look at the field and call out the numbers as we see them. Hopefully enjoy our broadcast. Kara, who played soccer in her previous life before she's now videoing for us, uh, it'll be interesting to hear some of her perspectives as the game goes on for one. And then secondly, she went on to play field hockey in college, which is saying a lot. That's a, that's a grueling sport, isn't it? <laughs> you know, the hardest thing about it is when you look at collegiate and the youth development that they have in the U.S., they're both fall sports, so <laughs> you kind of have to pick and choose. And they're on the same field, and it's a lot of fun to watch. I used to play field hockey like in 7th and 8th grade in our gym units, and I always had a blast. But, boy, those sticks could hurt. Oh, and the ball and the bodies. Yep. <laughs> All right, hopefully we start the clock right at when the game starts. And here we go. 45-minute halves, of course, plus the two, three, or four minutes of extra time. Fox United with the ball. Holding on to it was Espinoza, pushes it upfield, intercepted already by Chicago Nation. Going forward, well defended by Fox United, pushed out to the right side. Chicago Nation is fighting every pass so far. It's a very good start. Butler with the ball. Looking to center. Sutton puts it back. Here's the centering pass, almost deflected, easy save for the goalie. We'll see if he rolls this to a defender to push it upfield slow or kicks it into midfield. Beautiful night, a little bit chilly. Well, not that much chilly. Depends on how many clothes you're wearing, right? So that kick all the way to midfield, hit off the shoulder, fighting for the ball at midfield. Chicago Nation with the ball. Number six, Kalabjian with it. To the left side here, back to Sutton. Centered back to Butler. Losing ground, holding on to it. Did a good job to hold on to it until he got mugged and lost the ball. Now here goes Fox United. Crossing pass goes all the way on the far sidelines, out of bounds. It'll be a throw in. Ty Barnes did a great job here to tying up the defense for Fox United. Controlled still by Chicago Nation, crossed back. Booted all the way downfield, hoping that Sutton can run under it. He controls the ball. Two guys on him, a little bit of a push. We're going to get a free kick from here. This is a good spot to kick a free kick. So we can aim for the far post, hope for a header to, to get the first goal of the game. Maybe a little bit far from the goals, but this is a, this is a great spot for a free kick. Setting up the play. No, nope, they just quit, kicked it back. So Butler with the ball. Forward back to Sutton. Kicked. Defended well. Number 22. Fox United. Kicks it off of... Looking for his number. Well, went off, Fox, uh, went off Chicago Nation. Centered again. Number six, Clabjan with the ball. Good centering pass. Looks like it got swiped and cleared. Butler with the ball on the throw in. Centers it to the far side. So we'll see if we switch fields, which won't help us any because then the numbers will be way far away from us. But for now, Klabjan with the ball. Far side controlling it. Nobody's really pushing him. Rolling up slowly. Centers it. Tipped. Far corner. 
still Chicago Nation with the ball. They've had a little bit more ball control today than Fox United, so that speaks well. Still obviously 0-0. Zero, zero. Kicked into the corner, but Sutton under it. Kicked it out of bounds, gonna be a goal kick. Looks more like a corner kick. Guess it went off the other player. So this is gonna be a corner kick. Will Butler going after the ball to take it. So of course he'll center it on the probably on the far post looking for that header. The goalie, Austin Salazar, pushing way up. Our interview, Matt Budrick, is the only defender back. So Chicago Nation is pushing forward on this play early in the game. Low kick, centered, went through. That was deflected toward the net and well defended. Chicago Nation still with the ball. So they've had the first corner kick, the first major attempt. Good shot right at the goalie, low, nice save. Textbook save, caught it right in the bread basket while falling down, finished the fall, made sure he had it. Kept the body behind the ball and boots it about 60 yards upfield, taken with the chest. But swiped back by Seth Sutton, by Sutton. Budrick with the ball, turns it over to the right side. Now inter not intercepted. Back to the goalie. A little bit of pressure from Fox United. Right side Butler. Or my right, their left side. Pushed across the field again. Budrick with the pass to the far side. So Chicago Nation doing a good job with the ball in their own zone until they can get it upfield. Fox United putting good pressure. Looking great to send feed. it. A very speedy Sutton on the prowl. Long it's going to get to the too. goalie. That was a great feed coming from Chicago Nation. Has just been possessing or controlling the possession game here to start, Bob, from the corner kick all the way into their possession game inside the 50-yard line. And they're going to keep on the pressure here as well, but that was a great feed coming from the mid. So Fox United has to feel good right now with the ball. Got to get a little bit of possession time. Get your feet wet a little bit. Well, that's something that Chicago Nation does extremely well. You saw that in their previous matchup last weekend, which is how well they can contain the game by their ball possession. Last year, Chicago Nation finished fourth in the national championship. They lost to Queensboro, I guess. I, was it on this field? I think somebody said it was on this field. And they represented the Midwest Division really well in the UPSL. And then Fox United was in the final round of 16 last year. It was good that they were both in the playoffs. So you're talking about the two top four teams from this conference. Yeah, and if you look at just some of the different tactics and characteristics of these two teams as well, Chicago Nation is a team that really prides itself on the back line. So their defensive unit, they have allowed the fewest goals this season, tied for first in the number of fewest goals allowed this season. So and if you're looking at... And that comes with pride with uh, Kara, who used to play defense on the <laughs> soccer team. So, Got to represent, Bob. Right. It's always easy to want to interview the high scorers or give credit to the scorers, <laughs> but it's always right? that heavy lifting in the back line and midfielders that, that really actually you. gets the ball upfield. It's kind of like in football, the linemen, right? Yep. But you nailed it. The possession arrow is absolutely, totally with Chicago Nation today. You almost feel like, well, eventually they're going to score. It's a matter of when and then how many. Yeah. And then does uh, Fox United have the ability to score on them? Passed up field to Sutton again. Skipped through defense. Going to center it. Kicked out. We should get our second corner. Now, even though they had a shot on goal, you can't say that was a quality shot on goal. It was a shot on goal. Maybe you're hoping for a deflection, a misplay, something. But here we are in the second corner. It's looking for the goalie on the roster. Goalkeeper, Brian Brayon Rojas, number 99. Centered. Kicked all the way out back to the near line here. Centered again, headed out. Which Chicago Nation will maintain control again. Sutton with the ball. Far side, going to retreat a little bit. Switching sides. Chicago Nation, just excellent ball control here. Fox United is not getting much possession at all. And even those outlet passes coming from Fox United, there's not much north-south lateral, excuse me, uh, vertical movement happening with the team. So they're getting really stuck behind their 50-yard line. 
Their defense certainly under a lot of pressure here to start the first half. Sutton with the ball, far right side. Some nice passing there. It got by the two defenders. Some good footwork, centered, look out. Nope, a little bit too far. But again, this is, looks more like a matter of when they're gonna score yep. and then how many. Fox United with the ball, gonna kick it 60 yards upfield again. Stopped by Chicago Nation. Now kick deep. Capitanos on the run. Speedster on the left side, centers it. Goalie picked it up. Again, a textbook picking up of that ball. The and ball was not going to roll between his legs and get into the net. Good decision with the goalkeeper to try to outlet that pass as quickly as possible. I'd like to see some movement around the 50-yard line and try to stretch this defense and Chicago Nation off a little bit. But need to push with a little bit more tempo. Oh, there's a trip. Another free kick, almost exactly the opposite side as the last free kick, right? So right-footed kicker probably will see a, a headshot on the left side here of the far post. See what happens. Or will they just uh, put it in play like they did last time? I think they should take the shot. We'll see what they do. <laughs> when I say take the shot, I mean make the pass uh, on the far yeah, post. Right. Yeah, that's, that's long range. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this defense for Fox United getting tested really early in the match. And Fox United is pulling all the people back as well, all the players back. That save. was a high save. Nice save by got? the Fox United goalkeeper. Yeah, got to push. Up in the air, punch it out, get away from trouble. Then there's this a push in the box and allowed Fox United to play, and then they hit it out of bounds. And now Fox Nation has control on the sideline again. Well, that's where you need to make the smart outlet pass. Make that first simple pass just to give your defense some time and availability to get out of trouble. Great job by the outside back. And it's coming good. away with the header, and that goalkeeper is certainly getting tested here to start the game. Right. He made a good uh, catch on top of the mm -hmm. Chicago Nation player to catch that ball. Now let's see if they can maintain control, a little, maintain control a little bit. So I'm starting to get into the uh, prediction mode here. No <laughs> scores have been made yet. No it's goals. It's a long game, Bob. Yeah, but I'm going <laughs> to say it's going to be something like 3, 4, or 5 to nothing. That's a high-scoring soccer game. Yeah, that's a They've big... They've had plenty of chances. If right. you convert on one in the first 10 minutes, I might agree with you. <laughs> well, 10 minutes have gone by, so one-eighth of the game just about. <laughs> I guess technically one-ninth of the game, right? Yeah, I mean, it's if when you have a team that possesses the ball this well in Chicago Nation... It's just a matter of time before the opposing team is going to start to wear down because you're going to be playing on that defense for a majority of the game, and you will wear down. You will break down, but this goalkeeper is being tested hard. Wide open net. There it goes in. There was, the goalie went out way too far. The ball got centered, took a shot, took a fake, then passed off to the right. Easy goal. I unfortunately didn't see who got the goal, which is uh, what they pay the big bucks to see. So I don't know which number actually scored the goal, but it was, looked like a pretty easy goal. So when we're talking about 3, 4, or 5, nothing, we're already at 1, 0, <laughs> and 1 tenth of the way through the game. You got so me. that's the way this game is going to go, I'm thinking. Just Chicago Nation is running all over them. So far, Fox United just hasn't had a whole lot of ball control. They need to, to settle down, make some short passes, hold the ball for a little while, get some confidence. Whoops. So that goal at the 12-minute mark. Ball on the far sideline. A little hard to see. Just pushing it up the far sideline a little further. It's a great night tonight, like I said. Very little wind. A little bit, but not a lot. So the wind isn't going to affect the game much. Chicago Nation with the ball, coming upfield, sending it, Sutton after it. Fox United comes back with it, now to the goalie who kicks it. He'd be a good field goal kicker, that was what, about 75 yards uh, on that sale? <laughs> you got the markers on the field. Yeah. All right, far side, Chicago Nation with the ball, coming up slow on the right side, under control. Back to the goalie, probably switch sides, back to the left. Chicago Nation seems to be a little bit of a left-handed team. They like to attack from the left side. Fortunately for us, we're on the correct side. Budrick with the ball. Over to Butler. Far side. Sent again. 
looking for Capitanos on the run. He gets there f almost first. The goalie took a swipe at the ball and kicked it into the next zip code on the far side. <laughs> They're still chasing that one. I think a player went together, so we got to come back with that ball. We can't start the game until that ball comes back. Sometimes there's people behind the goalie or on the sides that get the ball, and there's multiple balls, but not this time. Chicago Nation still with the ball, looking to switch sides. Butler with it, looking for Sutton on the near side. Nope, goes back. Finally to Sutton. Centered. Looking for Sutton on the far side, looking to center it now. Holding it, giving time to his offense to get in place. Back to Butler. Good give and go. Back to Sutton, centered, taken out of midair, and that's going to be a wide kick. A good shot, just wide kick. So another goalie kick for Fox United, saving them on that attack. Reminds me of uh, one of the girls on my daughter's team that would kick it at the net and had no chance to hit it, even if it was a semi-tractor trailer truck packed there, parked there. Anyways, it's a wide kick. 60-yard punt to midfield, headed forward. Ball possession going back all the way to Salazar. Getting a little bit of pressure, holding on to it. Picks it up now. He can because it was the impetus came from the other team's goalie. Puts it down again, kicks it to the right. A nice give and go forward. It's a little bit of a trip. Another free kick from ah, just short of midfield. Chicago Nation with the ball. So 1-0 at the 15 minute mark. So 15 into 90, six. <laughs> Chicago Nation with the ball, left side. There was a pass into a tight window. Strain came out with it, but then lost it. Kicked again, looking for a send. Strain with the ball. It's a great Got around the defender, centered. Nope, kicked away. This could be a shot from right at the end of the goalie box and in. Just beyond the penalty circle, just to the left. Now we got a 2 nothing score, and we're only 15 minutes, 16 minutes into the game here. 2 nothing. So this uh, is, I wonder how much they're going to run the score up here. They've maintained the ball the whole entire time. Fox United seems just a step behind just about everything here. So we got a 2 nothing lead here. Vox United gets possession via the goal. It's not the way you want to get possession. Forwarded to the left side. Slide tackle goes out of bounds. Going to stay possession with Fox United. Fortunately, a goal kick for Chicago Nation with the ball. Taking it slow up the left side again. Centered this time, Capitanos. Started to go fast and slowed down. Back to the defense. Budrick passes across. Fox United putting up a little bit of pressure there. Fox Nation taking their time. The patience is excellent here. Capitanos with the ball. Right in the middle, far side. That might have been off sides. Let's see. No call. Looks clean. Shoot it. Some great passing in the box. Cleared out. And sent to, well, 30 yards out-ish. Butler to the far right side. Center, the goalie catches it. Fox United dodges another bullet. 
maybe a slow ball at that time. That was an easy catch, right? <laughs> it was good, good two-touch passing inside the offensive or attacking half of the field for Chicago Nation, getting some really good looks on net. Also sharing the ball really well. A lot of different players being able to touch the ball, get some creative looks. But these feeds that Chicago Nation have has and services inside the box have really been phenomenal. Chicago Nation has an obvious, uh, just a ton of confidence yep. in this game. I, we, yep. We've covered a few Chicago Nation games before, and they mm -hmm. are generally more willing to take the ball up slowly. Here, they're sending it left and right, right yep. and left. Fluidly. So they're too. feeling it's it. Seamless play. A little bit of a push. Fox United with the ball. Passed up here to Quare. Up to McDonald, but <laughs> back to Fox, or Chicago Nation again, push forward. Klabgen with it, sends it. Stein with it, Just trouble locating it. Another whistle. Offsides call. And the eagle-eyed videographer saw that it was a <laughs> offside. If you're going to have a videographer, you want one with eagle eyes. <laughs> I don't know, Bob. I got the eye of the tiger. There you go. <laughs> well, I think right now that's what Chicago Nation has. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right with that assessment. Sent again. Sutton just... Eating up the left side, okay, out of bounds, so it'll be a throw-in. Seventy-seven throwing today. I don't see him on the roster sheet. It's probably here somewhere. To Barnes. Fox Nation pushing it forward. No call. The ball is midfield here. Nice pass into the middle. Really, it's like a one on four. He needs to slow this down. Pushing it forward, though. Number seven. Centered. Cross. I feel like he was trying to head that back to somebody for a shot on, but I think he just missed it, and it kept, off his, it kept going off his head and out of bounds on the far side. So he gets a bump on the head and nothing to show for Two zero, twenty 20 minutes gone by. It's a nice night. I, feel, I don't feel like I need the hand warmer, but it sure is nice to have. <laughs> it's September. Right. But we're still, we're still lucky at this point in the Midwest. Yeah, lucky is a good word for it. Yeah. You, we could have some interesting weather at this time of year. If you talk to me in two weeks from now, uh, I might say something different. Right, we're using my computer, <laughs> so I'm very happy it's not raining. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Kept stolen. Nice steal by the guy that's not on my roster, 77. Slide tackle, back to Fox United. Pushed. Quare with the ball. Nope, that's not Quayer, sorry. They're going to have to move the ball quickly if they want to be able to penetrate that midfield in Chicago Nation, especially laterally. Well, I like the Fox... Touch game. Yeah, I like the Fox Nation. They had like three or four passes in a row that time before they lost it. Another send attempt, this time Capitano. That's on side. Capitano. Another great He's service. got a shot coming. If he can cut the angle, the goalie out, slide tackle. There's a good save. Redwell, absolutely. Yeah. Well Came put, that was right Redwell. Time. Well, he's gotten tested throughout so the course of this game. So on the left side, Chicago Nation is attacking from, they're alternating between Butler and Capitanos speeding, or I'm sorry, Sutton and uh, Capitanos on the left side getting sent. Sutton on the, uh, the starting lineup as a defender, but is still is taking some runs on the left side. Speedy guy. But I think it all, it's also Chicago Nation is pushing him up because there's a lot of confidence that the, def the defense can handle everything they're getting from Fox United. Why not push up the score? The shot on the far Great post, save. the goalie saves it, pushes it out. Here's another shot just wide to the right. Great confidence. This goalkeeper is getting in net as the game goes on. 
in regards to the saves. Just needs a little help from his defense in the midfield and outletting that ball more specifically in regards to gaining some momentum going upfield. Well, and here we have to go to what's the goal of the game here? They want to, they need to win the game, right, so that they can get one more win toward being again in the top four and getting into the playoffs. Mm -hmm. You certainly mm -hmm. don't want to end up fifth. Yeah, and both of these teams are neck and neck in regards to the middle of the standings in the Midwest Central Division. So at this point in the season, you have a lot of information about what your weaknesses and strengths are. So how you can come away with this will really dictate and determine how you can finish out the course of the season. And of course, Chicago Nation with their spring success, or excuse me, 2021 success that they had with getting to the finals, they want to repeat that. Well, and to get into the playoffs too, you got to be, let's see, there's eight teams in the conference say, you got to be in the top four and mm -hmm. you're two and two. So you don't want to go two and three, you got to go three and two. So again, the game is meaningless. It's not like some spring exhibition game here. And they're playing like it. There's a sense of urgency on Chicago Nation's part. Fox yeah. United, it just, it, it's not struggling with effort, it's just struggling with <laughs> Chicago Nation. Another send attempt. Looks like a breakaway two on zero. This could be a third goal. Oh. No, a pass would have got a good pass would have gotten it. Almost. Yeah, I, I think oh, it's easy from here to say. Stay in play though. Yeah. Stay play. There's a pass wow. off the crossbar, and back in the net. So from what I could tell, hit the crossbar, bounced back at the goalie, and went off the goalie into his own net. A tough break there. Three zero lead. Yeah, it's technically an own goal because it went off the goalie and in. But they had a 2-0 break on that. Two on nothing, the pass went wide, then Undaunted recentered it. Shot that hit the crossbar, bounced once. The goalie got back as quick as he could to get it, just couldn't control it, bounced off the goalie into the back of the net. You could tell by the body language it went off the goalie. I didn't actually see it hit the goalie and go in, not from this angle, but you could tell by his body language, you know it went off him. It'll be fun to play that one back in slow motion. Fox United with the ball. Ooh. Another save. The goalie's been busy today. Conversely, Salazar isn't having to handle almost anything on the other side. So all of the action has been on the left side of us. Booted another 60 yards. All the way to the other goalie, Salazar didn't need to play it. Chicago Nations, Sutton gets it back. There's some pressure here from Fox United. Down the middle of the field, Fox Nations putting uh, Fox United is putting on the fight here. Cleared midfield, Fox United with the ball. Zach. Kit picked up the ball. Stein with it, fighting. The referee said they're gonna take the foul. There was no advantage there. I like the way the referee let him play to find out if there was gonna be an advantage or not. A lot of people don't understand that rule in soccer. If there is an advantage, don't call the foul. And I like the way that the communication was there between this ref and the players. We've had this ref before. He doesn't get upset about too much. Talks to the players rather than passes out yellow cards if he can. Always controls the match very, very, very well. Throwing from the side, Chicago Nation. Gorgeous night. I mean, you look at the screen, you see the, the pretty green field, the, the blue sky, the sunset is behind us. It's a gorgeous night. For the players, it's probably perfect. A little bit chilly, not too chilly. Oh, throwing right into the goal mouth. Goal goalie catches it, throws it to the left side. Pass back, looking to switch fields. Back to the goalkeeper. Fox United setting up, right side, their right side, back to the goalie. Taking it up the middle with not a lot of resistance. Let's see if they send it, nope. Barnes, back to the defense. Intercepted, no, they still maintain control, but I like this. Fox United holding on to the ball, gaining some confidence. That pass blocked. 
Was that lightning in the background? I think you had that on video. It was right behind the ball. I wonder what that looks like. That's pretty cool. It's either that or a red light. Yeah, no, I think that was lightning. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a rain cloud in that direction? Anyway, stolen back by a Chicago Nation with no re, uh, no pressure. Sutton again, just beyond him. Yeah, it looks like a nice little rain cloud. I guess if it's far enough, it's over the lake. Maybe there's a bunch of rain in it. I mean, I just see the backup traffic at O'Hare from here, Bob. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, yeah, right. You're looking Those in the sky. Stars. There's like 10 airplanes in the sky all lined up to land. <laughs> and if you pro probably if you look at it longer, it's probably more like a dozen airplanes up there. Booted out to midfield. Back to Cuero, pushes it forward. Got a foul. On Fox. That's a shame. Fox Nation with the ball quickly. Fox Nation. <laughs> Chicago Nation with the ball quickly. Booted up field. Goalie gets it out way out by the end of the goalie box. Rolls it to the left. Chicago Nation with numbers and the ball at the moment. Now passes it back. Give and go, intercepted just a little bit, but kicked out of bounds. Chicago Nation with the ball. So we'll get a throw in from the side here. Sutton taking it. Nice move. Capitanos got around his defender, rolled one to the goalie, fumbled it just momentarily, picked it up, has it. Nice play by Capitanos to get around the defense on that. Didn't look like he had a lane to get into. This is a good fake. Nice move. Gutierrez the ball. Sends it back to the defense. Left side now. A little more deliberation. I guess you could say deliberate passing by Chicago uh, by, by Fox United. With the ball in the middle here. Getting closer to the net. A little flip pass off ahead. Back. And the kick, three bounce, two bouncer to the goalie. Again, textbook save. That ball cannot go through his legs the way they do that. Get on the ground. Keep the body behind it. Sutton with the ball on the near side. Probably kick it back. Chicago Nation will take it del deliberately. Back to the goalie. Probably switch fields. Go to the far side. Yep. Kicked into the middle. Capitanos with the ball. Here's the send. Sutton again, just ready to go. A little too far. The goalie's got it. So far side. Right up the middle. 27 Quare with it. Far side. Again, they got control for a minute. Sending it, they didn't expect that. Easily defended. Burdick with the ball, but bounced it back to a Fox United player. So a little excitement for Fox United there. Then lost it. Well, hasn't lost it back yet. Still maintaining control, a shot. Good save, Salazar right to him. Sent again down the middle. Goalie has it for Nation. I mean, for Fox United. Goalie's name, Brian Rojas. Rojas has been busy. We found out, what, 31 minutes into the game that my head was in the way of the goal on the right side. It took 31 minutes before it's not Fox... Like, it's not like Fox United has had many opportunities. That, well, was, that was the most quality look. That's kind of the point, right? 31 minutes into yeah, the game, we find right. out that I'm in the way of the shot on goal, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So that's ugly. So that means if you can get three quality shots per game, that's not going to do much. We have a substitute coming in, looks like. 12 is not on this roster, but coming out. 
see who's coming out. 12 is going in for a guy named Kevin. <laughs> Kevin is 77. Oh, there he is. Kevin Torres comes out. Number 77. Number 12 goes in. We don't know his name. The throw in from the side. Centered. Controlled by Fox United. Yeah, they got to push quickly, too. Like the speed here, just needs some uh, vertical movement. Well, and that's the question. Are you better off? You have to try to go number two against Chicago Nation. This is one of the back line, one of the best back lines that you have in the UPSL, and certainly a testament to how they've been able to produce this season, only allowing four goals so far midpoint through the season. So, you know, if you are Fox uh, United, you have to be able to c connect those passes, move seamlessly through the midfield. But at this point, Bob, it's taking way too long, and this is going to give Chicago Nation a chance to set up defensively. They have great organizational skills and how they can move as a unit. And we'll see if Fox United can be able to penetrate here through the defense. Well, and that's the point. They haven't been able to do that penetration. Yep. I mean, 31 minutes in the game is the first shot on goal, right? So at that rate, they're going to get three shots in the game, let alone four goals to win the game because they're down by three goals right now. I mean, at this point in time, you almost feel like they should be uh, just keep the score down from Chicago Nation just in yeah. case there's a tie break yeah, later I in the season. Goals might matter. Two mm -hmm. teams are even. Right. Another foul on the play. This time Fox United with the ball pushes it forward a little bit and back. It's intercepted. That was an ill-advised pass. Stein with the ball. He boots it at the goalie who he thought might have been out of possession, trying to get a quick goal, but nice save by Rojas back there. I think that would have been wide, but he still wisely caught it. Quare with the ball. Centers it. Good job holding the ball or keeping the ball there. Chicago Nation putting pressure at midfield. Fox United can't break the midfield pressure. Wisely not sending it, because if you do that and just lose it, of course, just after I said that, what do you think they did? Well defended, Chicago Nation. That's why you don't send it. It's a good header back up to midfield. Far side now, Chicago Nation with the ball. Probably go back to the goalie and switch sides. Nope, they're going to stay on that right side. Nobody moving, just holding the ball for a moment. So there's no pressure right now from Fox United. Chicago Nation pushes up field. Here's another send. Looking for Stein this time. Good patience over the ball, too. Yeah. Nice Rojas. little take over the ball and waits a, waits a good time to try to feed that pass, but just a little off. Another 60-yard boot. They'll go out of bounds on the far side, I think. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Another free kick. Or is that out of bounds? Looks like it's out of bounds from here. It's going to be throwing. We're elevated by about three feet. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like we have a press three, box three, here. Three feet and one inch. Right, yeah. It's not like we have a press box up here. <laughs> so we move the stands. We did a little housekeeping groundwork here. Absolutely. To move the stands. So Make yourself we move the stands. The camera's up about you know a couple, two or three feet <laughs> up over the the what it would have been. We got here early to set up. Fox Nation. Ah, I keep saying that. Chicago Nation with the ball. Centered it. Stolen by Fox United. A little bit of pushing there. Doesn't like the call. That was Diz Deverevich putting on the pressure from Chicago Nation. 37 minutes in here. 38th minute. Far side. Fox United with the ball. They have to feel good. They've got the ball on the far side. For, I hate to say for a change. Centered. Still centered. Here's a shot coming. Nope. It's kind of a lift into the middle, probably more like a pass and hoping for somebody breaking. In the meantime, Chicago Nation gets control of the ball. Dzdarevich had it. Left side. A 
Michael Fierro switched from wherever he was to the left side here. We haven't seen much of him. He's been on the far side now. Now he's on the near side. So Chicago Nation playing a little bit different spots. Here we go. Booted up for Sulka. Sulka centers it. Fierro with it on the far side. Centers it. Trailing the play. Kick on. Couldn't tell who got it. It looked like uh, Dzjerovic shot it on goal, but it was well defended. And I'll say well defended as opposed to a, a, a lucky defender in the way. We got a sub, 77 coming back in. He's, he's the one that's not on my score sheet, or did I find I him? I think you're looking at number 11. Oh, it's number 11. Looks like, you know what? That's probably why I couldn't find him on my score sheet. <laughs> They're tricky jerseys. All right, if you look oh, at I think the I found the 77 after all, but he's 11, isn't he? If you look at the bench between these two teams, though, Chicago Nation running pretty deep. And the number of players that they can select from for subbing on to the field in the game. Fox United, not so much. So Jose Garcia is number 11. And for the record, number 77 is Kevin Torres. <laughs> We've got the roster on like three or four different pages here. Just got the rosters like, what, about 10 or 15 minutes before the games. Giving uh, Nation some props here. The roster that they gave us was uh, nicely done. The list of the roster players on the left and on the right was the starters at which position. So it makes it a little bit easier to find them on the roster sheet. Sent to the right side. Great speed. Nation with the wing. ball. Kicked wide. Oh, just wide, but it also missed the far post too. So <laughs> wide being the key word. <laughs> we'll get a goalie kick for Fox United. I think that was Sulka that kicked that wide on that shot. The goalie Rojas boots it. He's got a good boot on him. Midfield, Chicago Nation gets it. Controlled by Fox United. A little bit of pressure. Well, let's check that. A lot of bit of pressure. Slide tackle, including wow. a, a foul hard there. Tackle. It's That'll a really hard tackle coming in the midfield. Yeah. You know, this one, is sometimes it's in, uh, intentional, sometimes accidental. He was clearly going for the ball. The Fox United player jumped over the play but couldn't jump high enough. Got just tripped up. It was a good uh, NFL tackle. It's Speaking of that, the Bears won today. That's the other football game. Chicago Nation with the ball. Far side. Oh, there could have been handball there. Yes, it was. So they'll get a free kick. Taking no, wasting no time sending it. Sulka on the near side. They've switched sides from earlier in the game. Centered and lost. Ooh, centered it. Uh, lost back, just gave it away right back to Chicago Nation in the middle. Chicago Nation still has it. Number one, Fierro with it. Two, Butler. Back to Fierro. Goes across the field. I'm thinking that's Klabgen with the ball. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell the number from here. Again, Chicago Nation just continues to hold the ball the whole entire game here. And some more lightning on the on the far left over there. See, which way would that storm be going? <laughs> I was uh, saying something about my PC staying dry. <laughs> my, and there's some more lightning on the far side. <laughs> I wonder if you're getting any of that on the video, because uh, I think the camera's no, over not. there and lightning's over here. It's a little far off. Yeah. Got a lot of parking lot lights on the far side over there, which doesn't help things. Just goes to show we're in an urban area, right? Parking lot lights. There's no cornfield on the sides. There's some more lightning. I don't know why that's exciting to me, but it's fun to see. I like lightning shows. And if we were to count airplanes in the sky, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten of them. Fox United with the ball again. If 
There's just no continuity. Well, they still have it. There's very little continuity. There's a side tackle from Fox uh, from Chicago Nation kicking it over the goalie. Rojas, it might go in. It went in. What a kick from midfield. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. He's turning the other way. Can't see his number. Turn around. We want to see who got that. Number six. I just cannot tell. Number six got it. That would be Clabjan, but what a shot. <laughs> Thanks, Kara. So in the 44th minute, a fourth goal so that says eight to nothing. So three, four, or five is... <laughs> <laughs> There's no such you thing as a... You should be doing the analyst role, Bob. Right. <laughs> I like to do the math. So the score after the first inning is one to nothing. the White Sox, let's say. So they're clearly going to win 9 to nothing. That's how this works. But right now, 4-0. Well, we did say, what, 3, 4, or 5 earlier in this game. And you didn't believe me. I remember that. Uh-oh, here's Sent. Look out. One on one on the goalie. Uh-oh. Oh. And kicked it just wide. So that was Sulka with some moves on the goalie, thinking he could get around him. Finally went to the left side and used the left-footed kick, but it went wide. There's some uh, yelling on the field for no good reason. Leave this referee alone. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> this comes from a volleyball coach. So that fourth goal is going to look very interesting on the highlight film. Okay, sent back to the defense. Don't yet know how much extra time we're going to get. That's going to happen in about 15 seconds here. Can't expect much. There's been very little stoppage of play. And I suppose it's possible it'll add zero additional time. Seems like there's always a minimum of one. Good defense there, Fox United, stealing the ball back. And then lost it. Look out. Strain on a run. It got stolen. Good defense there. Fox United got back quickly. Strain showing some speed, but when you're running with the soccer ball, it's a lot easier to run without the soccer ball. Fox Nation fell down. Centered. Look out. That's a, like a penalty kick center. Nobody was on strain. Easy pass to strain. Easy kick into the left side. I guess you could say the route is on. That scored in the 46th minute, 5 to nothing. So the question now is going to become, will Fox United be able to get any goals? And can Chicago Nation continue to pour it on, or will Chicago Nation call the dogs off? Now, previous games, we've seen leads of like 3 nothing at halftime, and, and Chicago Nation continues to pour it on. That would be my style. I mean, the, these teams are, you know, they're all adults, right? You don't need a slaughter roll here. little surprised we're talking about a slaughter roll with these two teams though there's another push be a free kick from there Chicago Nation coming into this game was two and one was it and then Fox United was two and two so going to two and three isn't going to be good three and one is good kicked far side Goes out of bounds, should be a goalie kick. And I think that's going to be the half. So we're going to stop the clock here. 47 minutes in the first, first half. We're going to go to a commercial break. And we will see you soon. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world.
After high school, consider playing volleyball for Harper College. Harper College saves you a fortune, it's local, great to your college, and an excellent, challenging, and competitive volleyball atmosphere. Check us out on the official Harper Hawks website, harperhawks.net, and at Facebook and Instagram at Harper Volleyball. You can reach the coach by going to harperhawks.net, click on Women's Volleyball, and click on Coach Phil Soway. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. After high school, consider playing volleyball for Harper College. Harper College saves you a fortune, it's local, great to your college, and an excellent, challenging, and competitive volleyball atmosphere. Check us out on the official Harper Hawks website, harperhawks.net, and at Facebook and Instagram at Harper Volleyball. You can reach the coach by going to harperhawks.net, click on Women's Volleyball, and click on Coach Phil Soway. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. But my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. volleyball even on scholarship after you've played volleyball for two years at Harper College then the opportunity is available to you after high school. You can reach the coach by going to harperhawks.net, click on women's volleyball and click on Coach Vilsaway. Send an email today if you are a good volleyball player and want to continue to play volleyball in college. Cellini on the digs. Burslov spikes it into the block, comes back Harper's way, now Summers going back road dug out by Scoglin. Froelich hammering it down, Summers there for the dig. Meyer up to Burzlov going back row. Skoglin keeps it in play. Now Haug dug up by Meyer. Udoni hammering one down, it's going backwards. Two Ridgewater players run into each other and that'll do it. Harper College is your 2016 national champion. 3-0 was the set score, but that was a tight battle of great volleyball. This message goes out to the thinkers, leaders, drivers, visionaries. Now imagine a place where we develop more people like you. Hardworking, successful, inspiring. A place with technology in the classroom. The salient traditions. 
How do you define success? Is it excelling in the classroom? At Marian Catholic, we'll help you chart an academic path that caters to your individual gifts and talents. You will have the opportunity to choose from 27 honors classes and 22 AP classes, as well as a formal three-year engineering program. 73% of our faculty hold advanced degrees, so no matter what path you choose, whether you're e-learning or in the classroom, you'll be taught by teachers who have the expertise to maximize your potential for success. How do you define success? Is it being part of a winning team? Marion Catholic's 20 sports teams have a strong history of competitive excellence. Our scholar athletes find success in their athletic arenas as well as in the classroom. With an average cumulative 3.6 varsity team GPA, our student athletes are prepared for wherever their path takes them. Each year, Marion Catholic celebrates championship individuals and teams at the state level. We're the proud home of several NCAA Division I athletes, four NFL players, a 2016 Phoenix Suns NBA draft pick, and a 2019 MLB draft pick. How do you define success? Is it expressing yourself through the arts? Marian Catholic's renowned marching band has won an unprecedented seven Bands of America Grand National Championships and is undefeated in class in the Illinois State Marching Band Championships since 1980. As a member of the band, you will have the opportunity to be a part of memorable experiences like marching in the Macy's Parade and the Rose Bowl Parade. Marian Catholic speech team has won 12 state championships in the past 11 years in individual and group events. No matter your art form, the stage is yours at Marian Catholic. How do you define success? Is it growing stronger in yourself? St. Catherine of Siena once said, Be who God meant you to be and you will set the world on fire. Following the Dominican pillars of prayer, study, community, and preaching, every faculty and staff member at Marian Catholic is dedicated to helping you succeed in whatever you choose to pursue. Experiential learning opportunities and a diverse student body will give you the ability to broaden your worldview. Our four-year leadership program will help you develop the character traits that will prepare you for college and beyond. How do you define success? Is it acceptance into your dream college? Our challenging curriculum will make sure you're ready for the rigors of college life, as well as give you opportunities to earn college credit and scholarships. Dedicated college counselors will help you navigate the college admissions process to find the best fit for you to be successful. You may even have the chance to join other Marian Catholic graduates who have gone on to attend highly selective schools like Princeton, Harvard, the University of Chicago, NYU, and Notre Dame. In the end, no matter how you define success, Marian Catholic will help you find it and prepare you for what lies ahead. Your path to success starts at Marian Catholic. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other team slashed me, took the opportunity. Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway at 2-on-0. A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world.
All right, we are back live here in Schaumburg, Illinois at Olympic Park, where we can see O'Hare Airport and to the east with all the airplanes up in the air. Except I think that maybe there are some clouds in the way. Remember we were talking about the, the lightning that we saw? I think some of those clouds have moved a bit west as if that storm is coming toward us, which is not a good thing for my PC. <laughs> but that's uh, hiding the airplanes in the air. So there's a bunch of clouds now between us and O'Hare. The game is 5 to nothing in favor of Chicago Nation. It looks like it's a, kind of becoming a one-sided affair here. Don't mean to throw shade to uh, Fox United. They had a two and two record coming into this. Fox Nation two, two and two? Or was it the other way around? I forgot. But both teams are right about the middle of the pack of their conference. Looks like Fox, uh, Chicago Nation is gonna have the ball and are on the left side. Pretty easy goal score there by Chicago Nation to start the second half. Picking right up where they left at halftime. They'll teach me to muck with the clock. So we got a six nothing game here. All right, Fox United with the ball on the left side. Back to, switches it back to the right side. So it looks like most of the action will be to our right this, this half. Unless uh, Fox Nation calls off the dogs. Fox United left side, headed into the middle. That was Galindo, probably Galindo. Fox United with the ball, centering it to the right side. Little uh, pinball action there. Back to the Chicago Nation defense. Now all the way back to Salazar. Holds it for a second. See who's open. Long kick to the right side right in front of us here. Great trap. Yeah. Centered again, Fox... Excuse me, Chicago Nation. Right in front of us. Good action here. The players look a lot faster when they're right in front of you. When they're on the far side, they look quite as fast. There's a lot of speed out there. Give it. Clabjan with the Great ball, feet. sends it far side. Right into the corner. That's a wonderful Fiero ball. running with it. Good field positioning, too, for the winger to try to create a centering pass right in front of the net. Nicely done. Well, and interesting, when they were on um, the other side, they were sending Sutton, who was the defense left side. This time they were sending Miguel Fierro, defense right side, on the right side. So looks like Fox, uh, excuse me, Chicago Nation is sending their defenders up on runs. Well, they have the opportunity to do it. If you become more offensive and attacking, you want to send your outside backs to right. the lanes, right? To and be you only to do that if you're confident about the game. And if you have possession. But I guess if you're up by a touchdown, <laughs> just missed the extra point. The corner kick went far post. Another great save. Rojas in the way of that one. That was a, that was a bullet line drive shot from the left side. Fierro with the ball on the right here. Back to Fierro, takes it himself, right side. Nice deek there, centered. Lost the ball, ooh, we got a foul called. I wouldn't have expected that. Galindo got into the, to the Chicago Nation player. Butler with the ball, the free kick. Sends it to the middle, strain with it. 
Fox United with a little bit of a counterattack here. Right side is going to be intercepted. It ends that attack pretty quickly. Chicago Nation, you can tell they're still playing hard with a 6-0 lead. They have no intention to, to let any more goals, any at all goals, go in against them. At the same time, they're looking to push for more scores. Rojas picked it up in the far goalie box. Rolls it to his defense right side. Fox United taking the ball up the middle deliberately, then a bad pass, a wide pass. That's been kind of the story of the game. The, the, connect, the passes have just not connected well. This ball sent back. Chicago Nation taking it on defense. Let's see if they go back to the goalie. Nope. Well, at least not yet. Turns the ball to the right side. Wide open on the right here is Fierro. Gets the ball. It's easy to see who's out right open. It's right in front of us. Probably 10 feet away from us. Well, 15 feet away from us. <laughs> Back to the goalie, Sar Salazar, now the far side. Shut down by Fox United, now centered, pushed forward. It's stolen by Fox United. That was Garcia with the ball. Lost it now. Sh Chicago Nation with it, looking for a pass to the near side. Lucas Bulka had it. Centered far side. Game's a little bit more wide open now. A little bit faster paced. Going up and down, no call there. Referee must have thought there was a uh, advantage on that. Far side. Shot on goal. Bounced off the goalie. That was almost a rebound. Again, very technically sound save by Rojas, but the ball took a higher hop than he expected, so he's diving on the ground. The ball bounced a little higher, so hit him on the shoulder, and that's why it landed in front of him just a bit. Chicago Nation with the ball. Now to the left side, far side. Their left, our far side. Again, there's no... There's great centering. Left side, Sutton. Another goal. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Little speed demon on the left side. So he waits until he's all the way over there to get the goal instead of getting it over here in front of us. Seven to nothing at the 52 minute mark. So the clock goes up to 45 minutes in the first half. We played for two extra minutes. Then the clock gets reset for 45 minutes to go to 90 for the second half. So that goal was scored at 51 30 ish. So that's the 52nd minute. Chicago Nation bench is stirring here as if maybe there's going to be a sub soon. Boy, seven to nothing. I didn't predict that. So far, the only part of the prediction we have is that Fox United didn't score a goal. Chicago Nation with the ball in the middle of the field. Left side pass. A shot behind the goal. It's hard to run straight toward the goal and kick it to get it to the far post, which is why most coaches say go for the far post. Ball out to midfield now. Fox United picks it up. Slide tackle, still Fox United ball. One could say it was a generous call, but I think that was a good one, wise call. So let's not have slide tackles follow people here. Centered. Headed out. Some quick passes. Chicago Nation lost the ball there for a moment. Fox United with it. About four passes in a row they've connected on. Good defense by uh, Chicago Nation. A little chippier in this half, I think. 
maybe Fox United doesn't like all these goals. So there's a couple of you know mild pushes in the back, you might say. Yeah, we were talking about this on my computer, right? It's drizzling. Hope it stays just a drizzle. This is why I like to look up into the lights and see just how much rain is coming down. Sometimes it feels like a drizzle, but you look up into the lights and it's a deluge. Far side. Chicago Nation trying to extend that lead, showing some real speed over there. Let's see, 54 minutes into the game. Some flash photography over on the far side. So we're going to get a corner kick. Trying to extend the lead to 8-0 on a, a centering pass. So for those Las Vegas betters, is it going to be a high kick, a low kick? It's a war in front of the net with a couple of headers. Centered and gotten out of there quickly. One man to beat. Some nice fancy footwork there by Sutton. Pushes it over to Clabjan. Far side. Switched back. Probably back to Sutton next. See if he switches over here to Clabjan again. Yep. Back to the goalie. So with the rain, the it's not a whole lot of rain, just a little bit, right? So it's uh, going to make the field a little bit slicker. The ball will travel a little bit faster. I don't think that's going to change really what's going on on the field. Maybe one player will slip or something like that. The ball will get there faster, so you just have to adjust your passes and adjust where the, the lead is on how much you feed a player on your team in, in front of them. But right now, Chicago Nation holding on to the ball again. Sends it up the middle this time. Strain, got pushed. He's controlling the ball. Another one off the crossbar. That was uh, some real strength shown by Strain not to get pushed off his line. Kick the ball. It'd be silly of me to say just kind of keep that foot pointed down as he's getting pushed. It was a great shot. Just hit the crossbar. So what? An inch lower would have been a goal. Not everybody could have gotten that shot off. He showed a lot of strength and agility right in the goal mouth there. Rojas caught a break as it goes out of bounds. Now Rojas gets a goal kick. Well, so those clouds that we saw with lightning over the lake are now heading right over us. I wonder how long, if ever, we'll get that lightning here. Schaumburg, Illinois. Now we can say a drizzly night. All right, the ball getting put in play again, finally. Midfield, see who heads this. That's where those concussions come from. There was a push from behind. We're going to get a foul on it, Chicago Nation ball. That's the chippiness I was talking about. They didn't see, we didn't see that in the first half where it got pushed from behind knowing the other team was going to get to the ball. Sent to midfield again. It's looking for something to cover the PC with. <laughs> oh, there is some lightning and a lot more rain. Side. Did you 
you say you saw some lightning again? I, I hope we're not in any danger of calling this game. I know Schwamberg has those state-of-the-art uh, of lightning detectors. The wind is coming down, or the rain, the rain is coming down pretty good now, and it's definitely picking up the wind. The hand warmers are becoming more valuable as the game goes on. Hopefully my uh, jacket doesn't get blown away. I put the jacket on top of the PC to protect it from the rain. I gotta hold the rosters tighter because they might blow away. And we have a goal kick again on the, the right side here from Fox United. Goes out of bounds immediately and that was a good example of the, the wet field. That ball really scooted on the wet field and the wet turf. Chicago Nation with the ball. So the only thing that can stop this now would be lightning, I would think. Kicked into the far right corner, centered. Right through the goal mouth, no goal. That got deflected. So you should have a goal kick coming up here. Now the wind is going from left to right, so it's flying right in the face of Fox United, as if they don't have enough trouble down seven goals. Chicago Nation has the wind in their favor now. So it's the difference between getting raindrops in your back or raindrops in your face. All right, the referee blows the whistle. We're back, kick again back to about midfield. It's not going as far when they're on the right side of the field. The wind pushing it back. Fox United trying to center, easy steal, centered. Chicago Nation read that play just perfectly. That was Fierro on the steal. Butler with the ball, far side. Going to switch fields all the way back to the goalie Salazar. up to midfield. Centered again. Clab John's done a great job at center. He just seems to be on the ball an awful lot. Of course, that's his job, right? But he's doing that job well. We have Fierro speeding on the right side with the ball, knocked out of bounds. It's going to be a throw-in for Fox United. Excellent hustle there. I think I saw some lightning in that direction. So we've seen a little bit of some interesting weather. It was a gorgeous night when it started. The weather was just a little bit on the chilly side. Didn't expect rain, frankly. Now it's gotten a lot colder, a little windier. A little. <laughs> a lot windier. The eagle-eyed camera person <laughs> recognizes that. <laughs> it's always interesting in fall in the Chicagoland area. Undaunted. Chicago Nation with the ball on defense. Yeah, they're still Sp controlling it like they're a storm of their own. Now there's another. Just a speedy Ooh, pass. The goalie's going to have to kick that out. Nope, he just let it go out. That was a good play not to touch it. That way it was, became a goal kick rather than a throw in from the side. But that was a great example of the, the rain is speeding up the field. That was a, a send a pass and it just scooted on the turf. So kicking against the wind, it's not going to go past midfield. So that's the ticket. You get down seven to nothing in the first half. So what do you do? You change the weather and see if maybe you're not a, a better uh, team that plays in the rain. That ball didn't go very far. It's going to go out of bounds. Chicago Nation ball. Boy, it's going to be real tough on uh, Fox United going against the wind. Back to Salazar and goal. Switch sides, far side. That might scoot out of bounds. Nope. Did you just fall? Nope, they're going to say a trip. 
He's got a free kick on the far side, not too far from the goal, but it's going to be tough to get it real close to that. I think here you have to kick it kind of high, let the wind hold it up, and hope somebody can come in for a header. So here's your golden opportunity to break the shutout. Hopefully all is good. The computer is covered up. I can watch on my cell phone the actual broadcast itself. So everything seems to be doing just fine. Here's the kick. Centered. Booted out to midfield. I'll say there's a war for the ball. And there's a kick. Kind of a one bouncer. A little bit of a tricky bounce. Salazar backed up and took it on the long hop, not the short hop. And again, you got to be really careful in the rain because that ball can skip real easily. So you think it's going to bounce up, but instead it skips and stays low. Did a good job to back up and make sure the ball bounced high. Good goaltending. He's only had to make, what, a couple quality saves today? I'm not sure he'd qualify that as a quality save, but it was a good save. Certainly a shot on goal. So, 30 minutes later, another shot on goal from Fox United. As we see one plane in the air over there, so maybe the clouds are letting up or moving on just a bit. I don't see quite so much rain in the lights anymore, but definitely feel the wind. They lost the ball. They're looking for another one. There's three balls right under here. They're coming out to get one of the, the soccer balls because the other one went out of bounds over the fence on the far side. Hopefully there's some kid somewhere in this. The what is happening also on the side here, number 12 is going in for Chicago Nation. And frankly, he looks kind of on the cold side. Number 12 is Chris Mendez going in, and that's the end of Butler. It's too bad because uh, whenever I see number two, I know it's Butler. Anyway, so Mendez now in, subbing in. I would expect to see a few more subs, frankly. They've got the, this game in hand, 7 to nothing, getting to be midway through that second half. Looked like when he went in, he, he was shivering just a bit, so it's probably a blessing. They got to go in the game to stay warm. The ball did not go out. Oh, it did go out of bounds. It finally went out of bounds. A throw in. Both teams, though, they're still hustling their tails off here. It's not like, okay, seven to nothing, I'm not going to try. I mean, they're, they're out to either do it because of pride, do it for themselves, do it for their coaching staff, do it for their team. They Both teams are, are playing at full speed. They're going to say that was a foul on the play. That could be a real close-up. There we go, the field, uh, it's the other way. The penalty went the other way. So now Fox United with the ball. Some terrific hustle for Chicago Nation in the far corner, centering it. The goalie has it, picked it up cleanly. Rojas sends it flying to the right side. That's how you get uh, some nice transition. So sending it on the right side, but unfortunately nothing there but Chicago Nation jerseys. If that had connected, even if it did connect it, it would have been a one on four. So that's the kind of pass probably didn't need to make. It's easy for me to say, right? Now the range certainly hasn't let up here. Far left side on defense, you can see it. It's, it reminds you of one of those uh, Green Bay Packer games in Lambeau Field where you see all the rain or the snow up against the lights in the sky. Some real excellent footwork there, Chicago Nation holding on to the ball. That was Fierro with the, the footwork. All right, let's see if we're going to send somebody. Chicago Nation was off sides. It was a wise non-send. It's a good way to maintain possession. You send it down and you're off sides. You lose, you lose the ball, the momentum. Slide tackle, ball to bounds. Chicago Nation retains possession. It'll be a throw in. Waste no time. They get the ball in right away. Both uh, benches are scrambling to keep things dry on the side. We've got the soccer balls in the uh, the bags now. All the computers are covered. The announcers aren't covered. <laughs> One camera person is uh, getting wet. <laughs> Soaked. <laughs> 
centered in front. Oh, that was a great header that just missed. I mean, you have to say that was missed by inches. I guess we can say that. So Fox United with the ball centering it, but lost it right away. Got it back again. Chicago Nation hustling still. Some terrific hustle. Fierro went off him, though. So Fox Nation ball. Thirty Galindo with the throw in, kind of a deep throw in against the wind. Comes right back at him. A foul. Somebody was uh, let's see Chicago Nation pushed from behind, so they gained a couple of yards on that. It's, it's <laughs> tough trekking to get the ball upfield. Okay, centered. Well, it was a good centering attempt. There was a Fox United player there to make a play, but Chicago Nation all over it on defense. Far side, Chicago Nation with the ball and some ahead of steam going. Trying to send it. Oh, this is trouble. Great save from Rojas. Wow, that was some excellent ball handling and a great save. That's one of those where both sides played well. Good ball handling. There's a trip from behind. It'll be a free kick. My jacket covering the computer is absolutely soaked. <laughs> the phone on top of it is soaked. The referee table looks like a pool. Ball tossed in, far side. Back out of bounds. Fox United's throw in. Looking for an open person to throw it to. They finally found one and sent back to the goalie Rojas. Sent near side right in front of us here. There'll be a battle for the ball. It's good footwork there. Fox Nation. Uh, Fox Nation. Fox United. Far side. All right, see if it gets centered. Oh, there is another penalty. Tripped on the far side. I actually didn't see it happen, so I'm only assuming it was a trip. We're going to get a free kick somewhere here. There it is. But I'm sure our camera person caught it, because she's good. Hope to see her a lot on these broadcasts. <laughs> and hear from her sometimes, <laughs> even if it is just laughing for the moment. Still getting my fingers warm, Bob. Well, it's good <laughs> to have you on the, the camera as well. You've played soccer, so you know what's going to happen. Here's the far side center. It's too far. Some great hustle to get back to the ball. And you know what else you haven't seen? Are the players slipping on this. Yeah. Well, you know, I walked across that turf earlier today, and it has a good grip on it. Yeah. Well, so the a good grip when it's dry. Yeah. Well, the field turf, it, there's a lot of rubber in there. So it actually has a great grip for the athletes in their cleats. Yeah. Right. When we say the football broadcasts, you know, the old saying is three yards in a cloud of dust. Well, here it's a three, three yards in a cloud of rubber pellets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But at this point, I mean, it's just, it's such a blowout for Chicago Nation that if you're Fox United, you just have to get to the end of the game. Maybe try to get in a goal here and there, but at this point, you know, you just want to stop the bleeding and be able to stop time. Well, that, and you don't want an injury. Oh, <laughs> kick a little wider than that. So that kick, number seven, I have to look him up, sorry, um, went to, the, <laughs> I got a wet roster, but somewhere on this wet roster, there's a number seven, kicked it wide to the left, the goalie, Made a save on it, even though I don't think it was going to go in. I remember number seven on the roster. He's on the sheet all by itself. Page three, I think it is. <laughs> Here a we five. go. Ty Barnes. <laughs> Here's the, the far side kick from the corner. I guess the near corner, sorry. Centered. Fox Nation, the head of speed and the ball. I think there was an attempt at a push, and a side tackle finally got to the ball. Stopped the, the run there. There's a good example of a push from behind. You know, we're not going to call that because they had an advantage. Somebody else might say that wasn't much of a push. Okay, back to Salazar. You guys watching the broadcast probably know how much time is left in the in, in the game more than I do. Uh, I can't see it on the PC anymore. It's underneath the covers. <laughs> 
but we're late in the second half. Far side deep. Good defense there. Couple of give and goes. Let's see if that's going to work. Again, just sent out from by Fox United, at least spoiling another goal attempt. Again, I'm, I'm very impressed with the hustle on both sides. Neither team is giving up. Both teams are playing hard. The score is seven to nothing. The outcome isn't going to change, but everybody's going to feel good about the effort they put in. Well, everybody, but maybe the Fox United coach, right? This is not going to be a, an easy win to, or loss to swallow for them. But last year we said this already, right? Fox Nation finished in the final four and Fox Nation, Chicago Nation finished in the final four and Fox United finished in the final 16. Great take. Both are excellent finishes. Great trap and take. Draws the foul to the well. Those traps always escaped me. It's, that's hard. It's amazingly hard to take a soccer ball that's flying at you with shin guards and put the ball down on the ground in front of you. It's just amazing coordination with your legs to make that happen. What happens with me, the ball bounces off my legs and the defender gets it. Centered over the net. I think this will be a goal kick. Look, nope, they're going into the corner. So we got a corner kick and a 7 to nothing lead. Boy, the rain sure came down quick. Centered, far side on the ground, a couple of bounces. A little pushing. A little pushing never hurt anybody until there's a free kick right here. Now, free kick right outside the goal box. So you're going to have a, a wall. Now the trick is going to be to get the ball either through the wall or around the wall so that you can tap it in. See what they do do. How many people they put in the wall. It's just a very, very close free kick as free kicks go. Here we go. Five people in the wall. It's kicked. Oh, what a great free kick that was. High and far post, high on the goal. Can't do much better than that. Something covered the computer and the score showed nine. It's really eight, eight nothing now. <laughs> Again, good hustle from Fox United trying to put the pressure on Chicago Nation. They got them bottled up in their own end. Good pass to get it out. Sutton with the ball on the far side. Chicago Nation with a head of steam. The wind at their back. Centered, it's got to be offside. The goalie picks it up anyway. Rojas pushes it out to the left side, getting chased from behind. Gets the ball upfield. Chicago Nation with good hustle tried to steal it back, didn't. <laughs> Fox United people wanted a foul call, a good no call. The ball is sent right here in front of us on the left side. Push forward. Some great speed to keep the ball from going out of bounds. But then Fox United picks the ball up. An attempted slide tackle behind, no dice. They're gonna call a foul on that. So Fox United gets a free kick from the right side. Again, the hustle is, has been just terrific. Back to the goalie. Had to do some fancy footwork to avoid the defense. Uh-oh, now he's passed a little too slow. And now stolen right in front. It's going to be an easy shot, a good pass, and wide. Well, <laughs> that would be a blooper you put on one of the highlight rolls or a low light roll later. I think as Chicago Nation. Simple 2v1 with the goalie. Yeah, they could have handled that a little Looked bit better. Looked a little too far ahead. But again, I'm going to blame that on the, the turf, on the, on the speed. You know, yeah. you thought the ball was going to go at that speed, and it went a little bit too fast to the, to, to the other player. <laughs> 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 
Chicago Nation on the attack again. Now it's cleared. Right now I think uh, Fox United is happy to keep the ball away from their goal. Another centering pass off the sidebar. So that was headed toward the net. The goalie Rojas got his hands on it. If you don't succeed, try again. Yeah. And then try again. And try, keep and trying. And try again. Well, that's, that's what Chicago Nation does, though. Yeah. They get leads and they don't let up. Yeah. And it says a lot about Even the with players coming off the bench. Mm -hmm. It says a lot about their heart, about how they're coached. Fire post from the corner. Chicago Nation still with the ball. That might skip out of bounds. Not quite. What a great field this is. Centered again, cleared by Fox United, but not very far. Okay, the ball kicked up field on the right side. All right, we have a throw in, Chicago Nation with it. Switching the sides to right in front of us. They're looking to send it. Here it goes, that's gonna to be too far, too fast. Probably felt good though. So it'll be a goal kick. The rain's really coming down now. If it was coming down a little bit before, now it's coming down a lot of it. Chicago Nation, the coaches are asking the referee how much time is left. I think they want to get out of this uh, game too. We got the uh, deluge we didn't want coming. Far side. Okay, Chicago Nation, right side here. Looking to center. They do. A shot deflected from the defense. Still in the goalie box. Another shot, again deflected. A pop up off the head. Here's another centering attempt. Picked up by the goalie Rojas. This is a full-fledged summer storm. <laughs> Maybe a fall storm. Ball at midfield. Tripped in the box. Let's see, they're gonna call it a goalie, uh, um, a penalty kick. Or is that outside the box? It's hard for me to tell right here. They're trying to say it was outside the box. I think that foul happened inside the box. I think we got a penalty kick coming here. Let's see what they say. Yeah, it looks like uh, they're lining up for the penalty shot. Well, no, wait a minute. Nope, it's going to be a free kick just outside the box. That might have been a generous outside the box call. We'll be able to play that back on video and right. see if that's the right it's call or not. a direct kick too. They're looking to give it to Hayden is what you heard from the coaching staff communicate from the sideline. So Hayden with the shot. Ooh, Great, great save. save. Well, that wall, they hit just about every player on the team they had on that <laughs> wall, and they didn't move. That's going to yeah. hurt if it hits them. But he kicked it around the wall to where the goalie was able to make the save on the skidding ball on the turf. So with an 8 nothing lead, they let Hayden take that shot. Some more speedy Chicago Nation players. And again, I'm astounded how people are not sliding on this. Picked up by Rojas. The, the wet soccer ball picked up. Now booted. Nice kick into the wind. All it can do is... Uh, and rain. Yeah, put back in the midfield again. It's got a couple of headers in a row there. It's got to be a wet soccer ball on the noggin. Far corner centered. 
good pass, ch stopped with his chest, a little bit of footwork in front, stolen by Fox United, now coming up field themselves. They're sending it. The goalie Salazar saw that coming, got in there and put it back to midfield. Fox United picking the ball up again. Far side, Fox United with a chance to center here, and they do what happened, got deflected. So I can't tell from here, it's out of bounds throw in or out of bounds corner. I think it's a throw in. The eagle eyed videographer says throw in. She's been wrong zero times tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Centered. Chicago Nation solidly in control of the ball. Four defenders back to the goalie. Settling things down just a bit. Switching sides some. Now let's see if they go to send it. Nope, they're taking it up slow right up the middle. Now to the left side. Now still left side. Sutton running under it. Centered. Booted out of there by Fox United. Still maintains control with Chicago Nation. Now they're going to... Fox, Fox United sends it forward. They're, they're, those sends just aren't going to work. I think they're more thinking they're clearing the ball. Those sends aren't like in an offensive send kind of a thing. They're, unless they just get lucky somehow and the defender falls or something. They're just clearing the ball. It just doesn't have an offensive tone to it. Chipped into the middle. Good header to go forward. Pushed forward is he on side? Nope, not not on side. Is the line judge on the near side raises his flag. So they're gonna put the ball back almost at the what five or ten yard line, the goalie kicks it forward. running up the middle. Fox United has a few touches here in a row. There's a three passes in a row. Sending it with a head of steam, but again against the winds. It just didn't get downfield very far. Salazar picks it up. Well, or kicks it up. <laughs> Not much pressure there from Fox United. Chicago Nation with the ball and looking to go forward some more. To the right side, right in front of us. Some good passing. They're going to get another shot out of this. No, they're taking it back. Offside again. Nice centering pass. I brought that windbreaker. <laughs> okay, Fox United coming right up the middle, sending it. They do have an open man. Now they're far side, they're going to center it. And a one bounce kick went just wide of the net. There was a, I guess you'd say, a, a pretty quality attempt, just a wide shot. They're getting a new ball here. It'll take about exactly five seconds for that ball to get soaked. <laughs> Salazar with the with the goal kick if I check under my jacket we can see how much time is left or maybe I can look at the phone 88 minutes Mark so we got oh, what's that going to be play on 
Centered, should be an easy shot, but wasn't centered quite right. Oh. The goalie was right there. Fortunately, the second kick wide. Just some Stop more unfortunate. Blank. Yeah, some more just <laughs> unfortunate events oh. that that ball didn't go in. I'm intrigued why the Fox Nation, yeah. the Fox United player, just got decked. How how'd that happen? Again, more reason to play the back the the game. <laughs> There's a couple of these plays I want to see again. So we got a goal kick with uh, about one minute to go to 90, and then we'll probably get a, a minute or two of extra time after that, and then it'll be over. Just went out of bounds. We'll get a we'll get a throw in. Mendez with the ball throws it forward. A little bit of pushing and a nice call there by the ref, just to make sure people aren't killing each other on the field. Wait. Salazar picks up. That's the 90th minute, and I think they're just going to call it no extra time. Game over, eight to nothing is your final score. Wow! So, um, instead of a three, four, or five nothing win, it's an eight nothing win. Dominated, dominated, absolutely dominated. domination. And at this point in the season, too, you really have to look for some positives as you go throughout the course of your season, especially for a team that qualified for the national finals last year. Definitely looking to get back. It was a well-played game. You know, here's a case where if you're Fox United, you hustled, you hustled, you hustled. It's just the execution points yep. weren't there. So I think yep. one thing I would be asking is, did you have the same players on your fall roster as you had in the spring? Yeah. Were you using those same players? Yeah. Because it just didn't look like a team that was really a top 16 in the country, frankly. No, not none not whatsoever, tonight. but you have to take from this game, work on it. All right, so we're going to go to a break here. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other team slashed me, took the opportunity, Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2-0. A shot, and it's goal! So, 3-3. Three three. 